Mason just seems to be able to break a little bit deeper, maybe, than the RP Motorsport cars. And it means he's forcing Kugno defensively into the first. Lesmo, they're all jinking for position, and Sandy Stubik pounces and takes second place. Lovely move there from Sandy Stubik. Really just saw a gap and decided to go for it. But well, Stubik looks to challenge Kugno into the Parabolica, and he goes for it, and he takes the lead of the race. Will he hold it on to the start and finish straight? He does just that as he accelerates for the penultimate time of asking over the start and finish line. We go into the final lap here at Monza in what has been an absolutely blinding race from the European F3 Open. Comfortably their best race of the season. But who is going to win it? Because Kugno retakes the advantage and covers the inside line on the brakes into the chicane. Kugno in the middle of the road has outbraked himself. He runs across the curb and that gives the advantage back to Sandy Stuvik, who in turn runs wide on the exit. So it's now Stuvik who leads. Second chicane. Kugno tries to squeeze Stuvik. Stuvik having none of it. They go side by side into the chicane. Stuvik keeps his nose in front, but then runs a little bit wide. They've got the two Lesmos to come next. And all the while they're being caught by Alexander Toro with Mario Mrasca and Nelson Mason not too far back either. Out of the first Lesmo, it's Stuvik who leads the way. And he's got his teammates, Kugno and Toril, in pursuit. Out of the second, Lesmo and Stubik. Checker flag is ready and waiting, and he takes the win. A fantastic performance from Sandy Stuvik. Second place. The Scari late in the race. Richard Gonda, seventh, winning the Copper Class from Tommaso Mancini. Stuvik takes the win. Teammate, pole sitter, Kugno, second and the fastest lap. And RP Motorsport completing the rostrum with Alexander Toril. And well, we were saying as the cars on the grid that form the three is the University of Motorsport. And that race was, this is how it looks, with Sandy Stubik leading the way by 20 points from Ed Jones in second. Nelson Mason, the race winner, Sandy Stubik. Onto the top step of the podium. Delight for Stubik after a superb performance. And RP Motorsport, the winning team, and locking out the rostrum. them in honour of Sandy Stuvik and on to the presentation continued West Tech and RP sharing the victories a win the piece for the two championship contenders Ed Jones and Sandy Stuvik and everything to race for in Barcelona on the 9th and 10th of November so the drivers posing for the photos on the rostrum Thumbs up for the cameras.